I think it was 1983, I'm quite good with dates, the first one I can recollect, the ma major TV commercial campaign using a well-known song was Levi Jeans, Heard It Through the Grapevine. When it was, was it Nick Kamen, I think it was, who went into the laundrette and took off his jeans to put them into the laundrette and he's got his undies on and of course all the women in the laundrette are ogling at this guy. But the background music was heard it through the grapevine. That ad was a massive, man, that campaign, massive campaign. And that really started off this whole new industry, particularly for music publishers. We're the ones, I have to say, that would very much identify this as this is a massive growth industry. We could really, record companies couldn't care less. Very secondly, in fact, very often, because obviously you have to get not only the rights for the song, but the rights for the recording. Very often the, the, the record company would say, just, oh, you, you do the negotiation for us as well. Oh, OK. And, it was, and again, we very quickly learned, which was a very closely guarded secret to advertising agencies, they always thought that you, you worked for a list. OK, you want uh, that song, OK, that is um, £6,000, please. But it's not at all. It would be, how much can we get? How much do you think? And then you'd have this game of cat and mouse with the advertising. You'd try and find out, have they actually shot this thing already? You know, using where, where the, 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 the song is really integral. And advertising agencies, being the sharp cookies that they are, very quickly learned to try, well, we're thinking about using, you know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. You know, so, but, uh, and, you know, some artists, it was an absolute no-no. Bob Dylan, particularly, Pink Floyd, particularly, because they, they saw it as, as, as something dirty, selling out. By the way, now that has totally changed. Completely changed. They all see it as a source of income. The biggest one we ever did was when I was at EMI Music Publishing in 1995. I happen to know that because it was the launch of Windows 95. We were approached by Microsoft, worldwide license for Start Me Up by the Rolling Stones, which is one of the Stones songs that we owned, in fact. And we got for that, I think I'm right in saying, $10 million. Now, you have to think, we didn't have to re-record it. We didn't have to do anything. You just licensed the song. They wanted it for a year, I think. There you are. Thank you very much. $10 million. Now, of course, the bulk of that goes to Jagger and Richards. But could we took a nice cut. Thank you. And so that's, that's really, I mean, but music publishers were way ahead of the game in recognising that as a real source of income.